So what's going on toxic gamers? The circuits are going crazy right now ever since that people have seen that Ghost of Tampon situation unfold, Ghost of Yori, Ghost of Tsushima, we also got the Assassin's Creed, Ubisoft situation, right? Assassin's Creed, the Shadows of the BBC, right? With the Captain BBC and all that. Bruh. Situation is looking tough, okay? And by the way, this is the actress, the voice actress, uh, this is a character behind the, uh, you know, Ghost of uh, Yori situation. And now there is a lot of information coming out and gamers are not letting up. <laughs> gamers are not letting up. We're gonna get right into it. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Let's go for two likes on the video. By the way, shout out to all of you guys for a thousand likes on the last video. I want to show you guys this video because apparently reports are now coming out. And guys, this is not my opinion, okay? Don't shoot the messenger. Second whenever they get the chance they love to take notes okay Bruh. And, and i'm seeing people say that oh no gamers are mad because there's a female protagonist guys that's not the case apparently what we're now hearing is that it was supposed to be a follow-up a continuation of the jin sakai story from ghost of tsushima we were supposed to get like ghost of tsushima 2 but they changed it midway through to push an agenda. Oh, That's like what we're hearing. We're gonna get right into it. Shout out to the homie in Demion TV. Shout out to the homie Smash JT. Roll it. October 2024 is gonna go down as the month of Endemion rumors. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. Yeah, let's get to it. I was on it. Valiant Renegade stream the other day with Endymion and a bunch of other legends, including my lawyer, Ron Coleman. And Endymion started off talking about how he heard from his source that Sony themselves was shocked when it came to the reveal of Ghost of Yatai. Nah, or bro. Yatai, okay, said. come on, man. That gotta be cam, bro. Like, come on, man. So they saw the Ghost of Tampon and they were shocked? Nah, <laughs> bro. Like, come on, man. Like, that, that, I, oh, you're telling me that they were looking like this? Nah, bro, that's us. That's us, man. After finding out that it, it was supposed to be a Jin Sakai story continuation, but they're like, nah, bro, he a man. Get my mom with that crap, bro. Still haven't figured out how to pronounce this game. But not just shocked with the reveal of it being a woman, but also shocked at how the game itself was received in general by the gaming community and the subsequent fallout that followed after Erika Ishii got unveiled being, yeah. let's be honest, Ooh. a pretty blatant activist. Sony did not see the community reaction and backlash coming from having <laughs> the woman protagonist. Yeah. <laughs> there is no way. I refuse to believe it that they did not see this coming. Like, come on, man. And apparently we're also hearing it is that, you know, uh, apparently they had like a full-blown male main protagonist a japanese male main protagonist for assassin's creed shadows and after blm happened they changed it to yasuke to virtue signal i mean how out of touch you suck has gotta be i'm talking about ubisoft here and what we're hearing is that and yeah you gotta you gotta think about it this way right so they added a black dude in it they made him hey just because he black right they did that i mean if yasuke was getting real life then would have made sense but he was not is what we're hearing but they but they still made him because he black ubisoft is the ultra racist company ever bro i've never seen anything like that and they play hip-hop music in feudal japan when he beat up japanese and asian people in the game like ubisoft what the hell and what we're hearing is that they were supposed to have a uh, Japanese main protagonist. In fact, they had it already done, but they just swapped right after BLM happened to Virtue Signal. But wait for it. JT. Hit that subscribe, give me a I like, covered, and check out... I, I covered that in yesterday's video, but... ...smashjt.com for the full article breaking down Endymion's latest rumors about how Sony executives apparently were caught quite off guard with Sucker Punch's latest reveal of Ghost of Yatai. Now first off, I'm gonna be clear about these two rumors that kind of intertwine and intersect each other. The first of which I don't necessarily believe wholeheartedly, but at the end of the okay. day, and Demian has matter, been right? fairly accurate with what he's been talking about, and this source that he has with Sony seems to know what's going on there, so I guess okay. we'll take it with a grain of salt, a heavy grain of salt, but at the same time, it does give us some insight as to just how out of touch Sony really is these days. Yeah. Yote apparently, like I said on Flash's thing yesterday, Yote blindsided a lot of people at Sony apparently that weren't um, too knowledgeable on the game. They were under the impression that they were going to get another Ghost of Tsushima, so when they saw Atsu, that's the new main character, the woman, 
They yeah. were like us. They were like, what, like, what is this? Now, before everyone jumps down, like, nah, bro, that gotta be the biggest cap ever. So you're saying that Sony was blind like this? Like, come on, man. That that gotta be the biggest cap ever. I don't want to believe that, but I I'm willing to believe the rest of the stuff, right? But if this is really true, then holy crap, man. Even Sony was like, yeah, man, we're gonna have Ghost of Tsushima too. They're gonna continue the storyline of Jin Sakai, right? And yeah, like it's gonna be good, right? But then this happens, guys. <laughs> Then this happens. I, I, I mean, you're about to see the video in a second, boys. Uh, roll, uh, wait for it. Throat or even endemians. Let's take a step back here and realize Sony definitely knew there was a female protagonist. Yeah, they bought yeah, Sucker Punch back in 2011. Now. It doesn't take 15 plus years to develop a game like this. I mean, how Ghost of Tsushima has come out since then anyway. So no, Sony definitely knew that this game was being created by Sucker Punch and they had some sort of understanding and grasp as to what it was going to cover. I feel like that's fair enough to say. Not to mention, how could they be confused about this woman being unveiled at a state of play that Sony themselves puts together. Like, mm, it doesn't mm, make sense. Mm. The rumor doesn't make any sense. Unless you look at it from the perspective of Sucker Punch wasn't being totally honest with them and they wanted to really shock the world and they were worried that if they told Sony the direction they were going with the game, that Sony would have been like, no, and put the kibosh on it and put it actually as Jin Sakai as- Yeah, yeah, what if like Sony was like, hey, cook something and Sony believed them and they're like, we're gonna keep it a secret. We're gonna be surprising you. Yay! We're gonna surprise you and then, you know, like, Sony, when it comes time to, like, put together a state of play, and Sony sees, sees the, the, the character. <laughs> this, this is them after that. Real quick, man, I want to shout out all of you guys. Mercedes, Tori Jane, Silver Slayer for following over on the Instagram. If you do have an Instagram, I would love to have you there. Link is in the pinned comment. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, consider becoming a member as well. Alright, let's get back to the content here, boo boo the follow-up lead protagonist to making the sequel that everyone actually wanted potentially okay but even then i'm like man people at sucker punch would be in a lot of trouble for lying to sony so again yeah. i don't necessarily put much weight into that rumor but at least i wanted to bring it to you because of the second portion of this which i found oh, extremely oh. interesting when they saw the backlash to yote they are not happy at sony yeah. like, they are not happy whatsoever they were like they really thought they had the next you know now that I do believe. I think Sony is so completely out of touch with their fan base. The next one, bro. The next one, like uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows of the BBC. <laughs> like, like next one. Oh, okay, Ghost of Tsushima 2. Yeah, right. Yeah. A lot of people want Ghost of Tsushima 2, man. Damn. People want to see the the follow up, the 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 Jin Sakai story too. Yeah. That they actually thought that this was going to be progressive and they'd be championed for doing the brave and stunning thing of putting a female lead in one of their main properties. What I heard about Ghost of Tsushima and Yote, it's actually far more bleak than I could imagine. Like Ubisoft and others, Sucker Punch also makes games in a way that my sources told me are called made by committee. Anyway, they'll propose an idea Bruh. like they'll say we want a male Bruh. character or a female one, and then the committee of devs will then say yes or no, and then they vote on what gets made. Like, we want more diversity, please vote yes or no, we want the story to push anti-white supremacy, say yes or no, etc. This way of making games, as I'm told, it leads to why a lot of activism nonsense makes its way into games these days. Sony's response, or rather lack of anticipation in regards to fan reactions, reveals just how out of touch they could be with the game community. Ghost of Tsushima has an incredibly loyal fan base, myself being one of them, and we fell in love with Jin Sakai's story. We want Loyal fan, loyal fan, man, man, can a brother just like, you know, damn, man, like, sick as we're like, bro, we're gonna be getting the Jin Sakai, where is that, where is that, let me, let me get that, yeah, oh! like, sick as we're like, it's gonna be Jin Sakai story, but then it, then it turns out to be like this, bro, like, damn, man, they got an activist, uh, who, who went crazy, right, on Twitter, and uh, she says that defund the police and all that, right? Don't like men no more. Yeah, I'm strong. I'm independent. I'm dead. Little princess. I don't like men. I don't like no man. Hee <laughs> More of that. Changing the focus to a new character, especially one with very different backgrounds and gender, was bound to be very contentious when it comes to the game community, particularly for a franchise with such a dedicated following. Not to mention yeah. that the actress that they chose for the role as an activist that said some really questionable things online yeah i am gender fluid i scream as i shoulder my way past the massive line for the woman's restroom and sprint straight into the men's stalls bruh, bruh. 
that I covered in a previous video that, okay, you know, personal life, you can try to separate the art from the artist, but you gotta imagine that they knew that this I mean, like, if her work is actually very, very good as an actress, and the game is genuinely fun and good, and they are not pushing agendas in the game, then I guess it's fine, right? Then it's fine. Like, I don't care what her beliefs are, as long as she's not hurting other people, but it's wild to say, like, defund the police, defund the police. I'm also cool with her not liking men for oh, whatever that's worth, okay? Like, yeah, if you don't like men, that's fine. You do you, boo-boo. Yeah, like, I don't care about that, right? Like, I don't... Yeah, so... But if the game is good, hey, that, that's what I care about, right? Like, if the game is good or not, and uh, if it's pushing agendas or not, I hope it's not, but the way it's going, I, I, I don't know, guys. Uh, we have to wait and see gonna be going into it and this is a big risk that Sony was undertaking by casting Erika Ishii as Atsu. And I was also told that the voice actor for Atsu in Ghost of Yote is a nightmare to work with and even other woke people think that she's absolutely crazy. But Bruh. again this is what I'm being told. I don't want to accuse the voice actor too much because I can't verify this 100% but yeah from what I'm being told they are an insane woke activist that makes other insane woke activists go damn. That chick is one insane woke activist, man. Ishii's activism, which includes her extremely vocal support for defunding the police and strong opinions for transgender rights, among many other. Uh, apparently, in Gosha Yutai, a progressive activist known for hating the police and telling straight women, straight women who disagree with LGTV to log off, and not just the is not just a voice actor for the game. She's also the face and mocap of the new Sucker Punch title it's an asset ready to save money <laughs> yeah i mean damn man like how many flags she got like one two okay so two flags okay not bad not bad two flags uh let's go for two likes on the video for two genders uh dislike the video if you think there are five thousand genders i mean why is she not like waving more than two flags yeah should have been more than two flags though but very questionable and contentious stances are not really great for bringing the Th that haircut kind of busting sarcasm by the way Sar sarcasm sarcasm but that haircut kind of busting sarcasm community together right now and sony should have anticipated that casting this type of person would invite scrutiny especially given the charged climate around the gaming industry's intersection with social issues these days but the backlash wasn't just about the character it was about the perception that sony was pushing a broader agenda here one that the fans weren't necessarily interested in being a part of in fact, we even had Sony's previous chairman, Sean Layden, say, hey, if you don't like it, don't buy it, which we all know. See, like, at least Sean Layden is waving, like, four flags uh, in his bio, though, so, okay, but, like, you need to do better, boo-boo, like, you gotta wave more, more flags, girl. You tell your customers to boycott products typically does not end well. So, honestly, I'm not really sure how to feel about this entire rumor in the first place. It's a little bit suspect if you're telling it is, Sony it themselves, is. who own Sucker Punch Studios, had no idea that Sucker Punch was inserting mm. a female lead. And we're talking about Sony having, like, Concord. They spent four hundred million dollars on Concord, dog. Like, um, and, and that was con Herman Hulse baby is what we heard, and he pushed for that game to come out. They put in like eight years to develop that Bruh. game, right? And, and Herman Hulse is now the CEO of PlayStation, guys. And he's the CEO. Yeah, guys. Like, it is. Uh... Send a prayer out, guys. Like it, it is, it is sad. It is over. It is Joe over, as some some of you might like to say. Into one of the biggest properties that they have right now, and then to say on top of that that they're also surprised that when it got unveiled, that they were shocked that it was a bad surprise for the fans and that no one took too well to it. It doesn't really add up. It doesn't make sense because if you're the fan base and Sony looks at it and they didn't know it was going to be a woman, then why would they be surprised at the reaction? Because they'd be like, oh wait. It's a woman. That's why people aren't happy about this, because the fans have already shown that they give backlash to this. I was also told, and take this with a big fat grain of skepticism again, but apparently most of the competent devs have indeed left Sucker Punch quietly already. I cannot confirm this, but from what I'm being told, the key talents behind Tsushima have left amidst the second game in the series being made. I was told that originally Yote was not the original game idea at all. It was actually indeed Ghost of Tsushima 2 starring go. Jin Sakai. But sometime during development, a lot like Shadows, the game was halted and then completely- Oh, uh, he's talking about Assassin's Creed Shadows of the BBC changed in vision. In the end, it's clear that the higher-ups at Sony are seemingly losing touch with what players wanted. They underestimated the connection fans had with Jin Sakai and overestimated the enthusiasm for a dramatic shift with a new protagonist. If that is to be the case and believable with this rumor from Endymion. Again, 
Take it all with the- I, I wanna- I wanna play you this one real quick, okay? So this is, uh, once again from Endymion. What's happening is these publishers will hire these senior devs that actually know what they're doing as contractors. So they don't have to- Eventually, what is happening is these publishers will hire these senior devs that actually know what they're doing as contractors. So they don't have to display them amongst the other far less competent devs, which are mostly, as I'm being told, and don't shoot the messenger, alright? I'm just telling you what they're telling me. But these incompetent devs are mostly women and people who are diversity hires. There so case go. in point, competent white male devs are contracted to work on these things, not necessarily in roles that allow them to, say, change the story or mm. improve character designs gotta, or anything like that. I want to show you something. So we got the before and after picture, which we recently discovered of the studio. So like the, ma uh, the men that worked on Ghost of Tsushima, uh, apparently, if this story is true, they're no longer there. And it's uh, it's now like the, the, the female. Let me actually show you guys this. Okay, wait that. for it. Those decisions are almost exclusively decided by your typical woke Marxist left-leaning activists within these studios. But since when it comes to actually making the moronic ideas a reality being harder than they expected, they then contract these older white guys who likely make way more money off these publishers this way to make their stupid woke decisions an actual reality. So you end Dang. up with games that suck and are made for no one, but it- Yeah, so this is uh, something that people are now- finding out so this is the team that worked on and you can always like zoom in on mobile right uh you can yeah so this is the ghost of tsushima team originally and now this is a new ghost of tsushima team yeah i, I mean i'm all up for like the the, the female the the strong independent and all that well uh, you know what i mean like i'm all up for that but like damn man like them firing by the looks of it or perhaps not fired but but like we're seeing a complete 180 though we're seeing a complete 180. So these are the people that made Ghost of Tsushima. Fans love it. The game was because the game was good. If the game was bad, don't get me wrong. Like people would have been looking like this. Okay, people would have been calling it out. It, it ain't about like man or female or none of that. Okay, it ain't about that. It's just about hey, the game is the game good or not? Okay, simple as that. Okay, simple as that. Sick is a hell of a suspect right now, man. Because based off of what happened with like Ubisoft and uh, you know recently they also well, we discovered the fact that they had a mentorship program where men are not allowed. My guy, you cannot spell mentorship without men in it. Okay, what are we talking about? Damn it! What are we talking about, bro? Great assault. I just. Oh my bad. This one. At least they still function as video games. But this is largely only because these contractors are working on it. It's kind of messed up when I spoke to my sources about this, but this is apparently happening all over the industry right now. Studios are filled with people who have zero idea what they're actually doing, they're being hired based on identity or gender, yet when it comes to actually making things happen, well, it doesn't, according to my sources. In terms of what I heard about Ghost of Tsushima and Yote, it's actually far more bleak than I could imagine. Like Ubisoft Dang. and others, Sucker Punch also makes games in a way that my sources told me are called Made by Committee. Basically, these Holy. games are decided, then when the actual ideas come to what gets made and put into the game, it's almost like you have the heads of each department, if you will, at a round table, but not really, of course, they could be doing it all over Zoom or something, but same idea. Anyway, they'll propose an idea like they'll say we want a male main character or a female one, and then the committee of devs will then say yes or no, and then they vote on what gets made. And this process is used for many, many different aspects of every single game being made right now. Like, we want more diversity, please vote yes or no, we want the story to push anti-white supremacy, say yes or no, etc. This way of making games- <laughs> I'm pretty sure all of them say yes, yes! <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure these things did that, 110%, bro. As I'm told, it leads to why a lot of activism nonsense makes Bruh. its way into games these days. Bruh. Because a bunch of activists could and likely will sit on their committee board and just through voting, will overwhelm the minority of votes yeah. to ensure that everything meets their demands. So when it comes to Naoe and Yasuke being a thing in shadows, you can almost definitely believe that it was likely voted on and decided by a committee as well. The same thing is happening at Sucker Punch right now. I was also told, and take this with a big fat grain of skepticism again, but apparently most of the competent devs have indeed left Sucker Punch quietly already. I cannot- Competent dev left, meaning the incompetent stayed. <laughs> Yo, uh, I, I mean, listen, it's it, these are rumors that we're hearing right now. Not sure if these are legit or not. But let's be real, based off of what's going on in the gaming industry, I would not be shocked. But once again, if the game turns out to be fun, good, story good, and they're not pushing agendas, and you know, it's based off of a female samurai, I'm assuming it's based off of a real female samurai that existed all the way back then. Listen man, I don't know if it existed or not, I'm not a historian, but maybe it did, and this game is based off of that. There was probably one or two, maybe, right, I guess. 
and they were like okay let's make the game on that okay yeah okay whatever but if it turns out that they're not pushing any agendas and the story is done well and the legacy is not like uh dismantle the way ubisoft actually did with yasuke right yasuke is a real man he was a real man he was not gay he was not a samurai but ubisoft was like nah bro his biggest achievement was him being gay and they made him gay in the game bro like like bro like this he's no longer with us he cannot come down here and defend himself bro like you suckers are crazy for that bro that is hella disrespectful man damn this like is crazy bro if he was then yes, makes sense to make him in the game. But nah, man, this like, is crazy. So if they do the same crap with uh, the female samurai in uh, Ghost of uh, Yore, Ghost of Tampon, then that would uh, obviously, that would not be good. Not confirm this, but from what I'm being told, the key talents behind Tsushima have left amidst the second game in the series being made. I was told that originally Yote was not the original game idea at all. It was actually indeed Ghost of Tsushima 2 starring Jin Sakai. But sometime during development, a lot like Shadows, the game was halted and then completely changed in vision. This Atsu character we see was not originally decided to be the main character of this game. And apparently, according to my sources, Yote's world and design are largely based on the assets that were being used while making Tsushima 2. Apparently, work began on Tsushima 2 around two months after the official sales data came through on the first game's success. Yeah, a skeleton yeah, yeah. crew was left behind to work on the Legends multiplayer, and the same team made the Iki Island deals. Yo, bye fam. Just like how this thumbnail says bye fam to Assassin's Creed Shadows of the BBC. I gotta say, bye fam. <laughs> yeah, man, they don't like us men, bro. They, they don't like us, bruh. They don't like us men no more. We'll see expansion as well. From what I'm told in terms of Yote, the team that made the Iki Island DLC are the primary devs on this game. And the actual sucker punch that's left is allegedly mostly working on something else. Take this with your grains of salt or whatever people say, but yeah, Yote was not the original vision. And key talent has left sucker punch, just like it happened with Rocksteady when Suicide Squad was being made as well. I was also told do not expect Yote in 2025 at all, apparently the game's nowhere near being done. But it's mm. a very slim chance at best that this game actually really so it's gonna be like hey place best on ps5 pro right okay well we'll see you guys do not watch this video guys do not whatever you do man do not watch this video man whole lot of assassin's creed bbc news coming out right now man it is insane don't watch this video but check out the video on the left and i'll see you right there